The man just wanted to remove an ingrown toenail, but the hospital insisted on giving him an MRI. The attending physician was baffled. What kind of MRI was needed to remove an ingrown toenail? However, just as the man was about to enter the MRI machine, the head nurse burst in. She carefully examined the man's medical records and noticed something peculiar about his body. Mr. Reynolds, do you know how an MRI works? It has incredibly powerful magnets, magnets that will rip anything metal out of your body. The man instinctively covered his private area. Only then did Curly learn that the patient had undergone a penile implant, and the implant was made of metal. The man was terrified, showing for the doctor to turn off the machine. It turned out that the hospital, in order to increase revenue, had hired a peer manager named Curly. No matter what illness you come to the hospital for, you have to undergo tests first. Anyway, it's all paid for by medical insurance. Meanwhile, on the other side, hospital attendant Xiao Mei collapsed on the ground. She was luckily discovered by Senka and Jiang Guo passing by. Just as the two were helping Xiao Mei with her examination, Curly walked in, insisting on checking Xiao Mei's insurance first. Xiao Mei immediately claimed to be fine and said she didn't need an examination. But as soon as she took a few steps, she collapsed again on the ground. It was initially suspected to be a heart blockage. Luckily, Jiang Guo performed a timely heart puncture and barely saved her life. Just as everyone was preparing for an MRI to properly diagnose Xiao Mei's condition, Curly walked in once again. She's uninsured. Curly found through investigation that Xiao Mei was an undocumented immigrant, but Jiang Guo didn't care. In the eyes of a doctor, nationality doesn't matter. Now, Xiao Mei has been diagnosed with malignant tumors. Without timely treatment, she could die at any moment. No more tests. No more treatment on our dying. This hospital isn't a charity. In no time, Curly reported the situation to the hospital director. However, as law clearly states that critically ill patients cannot be expelled from the hospital. But considering Xiao Mei's condition, even if everything goes smoothly, it will cost the hospital $500, 000, 000. And if the post-operative recovery is poor, it will cost the hospital at least $1 million. With no other options, the hospital director had to call the immigration office and attempt to forcibly take Xiao Mei away and deport her. But Jiang Wu and Senga stood in their way, trying to hold back the immigration officers while getting Xiao Mei into the operating room and arranging surgery immediately. Even the immigration officers couldn't forcibly remove the patient from the operating room. Soon, Xiao Mei successfully underwent surgery, and the hospital director was left with no choice. At this moment, all he could do was pray for Xiao Mei's post-operative recovery. As long as she could walk to the door, it would only cost the hospital $500,000. However, even with all her efforts, Xiao Mei couldn't get out of bed. Jiang Guo and Senka didn't care about all that, as long as the patient was alive and well. But what they didn't know was, the hospital director would massively cut the hospital's budget because of this. Even the experienced triage nurses were forced to be laid off. Then, a massive car accident occurred, and the entire emergency room instantly turned into chaos.